The roll of the dice, the dealing of the cards, the noise from the reels of the fruit and slot machines, the revolving ball of the roulette wheel, the pounding of galloping horses' hooves, hounds racing up the traps, and coins scratching at cards to reveal symbols and numbers. Yes, that's gambling. A fun activity with some people having a great time and enjoying themselves. However, for others, it can become a nightmare. An addictive ride on a giant hamster wheel going round and round without a way to jump off. A ride to ruination, to pain, to misery and despair, without self-control and without self-respect. What makes gamblers gamble? The same thing that makes alcoholics drink, the same thing that makes overeaters binge, and the same thing that makes drug addicts use. That feeling of wanting to escape, to escape the past from trauma, child abuse, etc. Just to forget all the daily problems for a little while and indulge in pleasure, bliss and enjoyment. Except it isn't any of those things really. It's a quick fix of contentment that leads to ruination. But your brain says, no, not this time. I'm going to win this time. I'm not going to lose all my money. I'm not a loser. So you keep playing and you keep losing. And then comes anger. Anger at the fact you're losing your money. Anger with the establishment who are winning. Anger at the universe for allowing this to happen again. And most of all, anger at yourself for not finding the strength to climb out of the wheel. And the shame. Huh. So ashamed of yourself for doing it. Hating the fact that you'll have to hide your horrible little habit in case people find out. And hate you as much as you hate yourself for doing it. Hating yourself because you have nothing left and a long climb to reach next month's pay with no rent money, no food money and no travel money to get to work or anywhere else. So we hide ourselves away in our shame and misery. Sometimes you do win. Well, of course you do, or you wouldn't keep doing it. Gamblers tell themselves this is their winning streak, exactly what they've been waiting for. But when do you stop? When you've won a little and are up on the game? For most people, yes, that's sensible, but not for the gambler. The head says, keep going for more. It's not about being greedy and wanting more and more. It's about trying to recuperate all the losses from the past so you can break even. But of course you don't. When the gambler hits rock bottom, which is different for everyone, there's no place to go except up. Rock bottom is the point where you've lost everything on all levels, physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually. You finally ask for help. You finally break free and you finally start to live a normal life, whatever that may be. And you finally start to find some self-respect and some self-love. Gamblers are loved by global gaming companies, but not with a love that comes from the heart, from a place of goodness. No, this is a narcissistic kind of love, a controlling kind of love, a diabolical love the complete opposite of goodness. Global gaming companies look upon compulsive gamblers as stupid and gullible. They think of them as idiots, the idiots that are complete slaves to making them become wealthy. Keep the gambler dependent on us. That's their unspoken motto. The gambler is now an ex-gambler, living in the solution, not the problem. You've added your name to GamStop, to self-exclude yourself from online gaming companies and online casinos. You've done it, and now you can get on with your life. Well, it should be that way, but it isn't. Do you really think that those global companies are going to let you get away just like that? You're their bread and butter. You're their slave, and you can't escape that easily. Adding your name to a list doesn't work. In fact, if anything, it means you're pestered more. Pestered in the sense that you receive daily text telling, oh, you're on a winner and click the link below to claim free spins. 
emails arriving, inviting the exact same thing. Adverts for free spins and offering free money to gamble appear in apps. And even propaganda in leaflet form arrives in the mail like a silent thief entering your home. There's no respite. Even when you Google help for gambling, a long list of casino advertising offering bonuses appears. It's all done to tempt you, to get you hooked again. They prey on you and lie in wait like a spider, hoping for a weak moment from you. It's exactly the same as the pusher who waits outside NA meetings, hoping to regain lost clients and get them hooked again in a weak moment. In 2021, gambling was estimated to cost society in the UK £1.27 billion per year. In 2022, the NHS announced a gambling pandemic in the UK, which the present government has yet to address. Eye-popping amounts of money are made from gambling, with no thought or regard to the damage that's being caused to people. It's time for companies to stop profiting from people's misery. It's time for new gambling regulations, and it's time for gaming companies to make amends for all the wasted lives and misery of the past. We're waiting. It's all or nothing. If you or someone you know has been affected by gambling, please see the links below for help in the UK. Thank you for listening.